Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with you with a Photoshop video. I decided it would be a good idea to do a little dodging and burning update. Um, the last video that I posted was almost a year ago and I thought that it would be a good idea to just kind of show you my updated version of dodging and burning. So I'm going to be working on this photo today. Um, it's one of the photos I took in Cape Town, so I thought that it would be interesting to show you how I work on it. So I'm going to start by just looking at the details very quickly. Um, we have some dark circles here a tiny bit, you know, there's some redness that needs to be fixed and so on. So there's a good few things that need to be changed um, while we're working on the photo. So I am going to create a second layer. I know some people don't do that, but I always find it's easier to have that second layer to work on. And now I'm going to go straight into dodging and burning. And as you know, in my previous video, I created three layers. I created my 50% gray, my black and white, and my curves. Uh, but this time I am not doing that. I am just going to press Alt, new layer here. I am going to go to soft light, forwards 50% gray and I'm just going to work on that. So this is just my dodging and burning. I'm not creating the black and white layer. I'm not creating the contrast layer. Um, I did hear from a lot of more experienced retouchers than me that it's a destructive thing to create um, the black and white. So I kind of want to show you guys the proper way, if it is the proper way. <laughs> if it isn't, point me out in the right direction. But anyway, this is what I do and this is how I edit. So I'm going to start with the most visible kind of um, darkness here. I'm going to leave my flow on 3 and opacity on 100. And I'm just going over the skin ever so slightly. Any kind of redness that I see, any kind of dark redness, let's put it this way. I'm going to vary my sizes. A little handy tip for making your um, brush smaller or larger, you just press the little um, square bracket. I don't know what it's called officially um, but this makes your brush bigger or smaller on um, mac anyway so i'm just going over all the areas of the skin that look darker or uneven so certain things like this little gray area here i will go over a tiny bit but in general i'm going to be doing other adjustments here as well um because it's not really that much for dodging and burning. It is some color correction happening here as well that needs to be done. So I'm just going to be working kind of in between the bo uh, both of them to just to kind of make sure that everything looks nice and even. Okay, so that's the first area for you. As you see, it's a big difference already. I'm going to move on to the second eye and brighten it a tiny bit as well. So any kind of dark elements in the photo that I see um, that looks slightly too dark or whatever, I just go over it, um, over my highlights there. The lipstick is a bit uneven, so I'll have to fix that afterwards as well, but this is not what we're concentrating on right now. I'm just going to brighten the area around the lips because um, I just want to make sure that it's nice and even. So I think the main point of dodging and burning is just to make the skin as even as possible for yourself for any further retouching. So instead of, you know, using any sort of um, tools like um, patch tool or stamp tool or anything like that, you just use that to kind of even out the skin as much as possible before you kind of work on it further. So as you see here, we have a little area that is very patchy. So I'm just going to go over it a tiny bit. That's just, you know, little pigmentations and skin and so on. So that's what you're kind of going to be going against. Um, you know, everybody has them, unfortunately. So all those little photos there. And now we can have a look. As you see here, there is a big change already. As you see, for now, I'm only working on the highlights. I am not um, concentrating on darkening any parts of the image. I'm going to create a separate layer for that um, just to kind of keep it nice and separate, um, just to make your life easier, I guess. So just before I put this image through into Photoshop, I did use my presets to edit the colors because the original was quite um, greenish because of the plants kind of surrounding the models. 
and I made it in a way so the skin stands out a bit more and it's not as green and it's more kind of slightly reddish but because of that you can still see lots of kind of yellows peeking through and the highlights especially and then lots of reds and the shadows so it's kind of a tricky image to balance in this sense. I'm just going to try and make this image and the skin as even as possible before I move on to anything further. So as you see, we cleaned it up quite a bit already. And now what I'm going to do is before I do, do anything else and before I do any more highlights or shadows or anything like that, I am going to color balance the image a tiny bit because there is a lot of different kind of tones happening around the image and I just feel like it distracts a little. So what I'm going to do is click on new layer just here and then I'm going to go into color. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a white brush and I'm going to go slightly over the areas that seem tiny bit red. What it's going to do is going to um, make the color slightly bit more toned down. It's not going to be as yellow or as red anymore. So I'm just going to go over the entire face because I feel like it's very imbalanced and the colors are a bit all over the place. So I just kind of want to take a second to balance everything basically. So this one here, you can see the difference straight away. And now that we have those colors slightly bit more toned down, I'm going to go over a tiny bit again. Now I'm going to select maybe like slight orangey kind of color, maybe slightly bit more yellow like that. And now I'm going to go again over the entire face. So as you see, I'm just going very roughly over the entire face, just to make sure that my colors are a bit more matched and they are not as all over the place as um, before. And now I might actually just use a tiny bit of white just here because it seems a bit too intense. Okay, that's better. So as you see, there's a huge difference between the pinky areas in the face and the yellows. So it's kind of a bit more balanced in this sense. And now I can go back to dodging and burning because now I see there's like a bit, a bit of a darker patch here. So I'm just going to go back to my dodging and burning. So as you see, there's quite a drastic difference with just one swipe of the brush. Well, maybe not one, maybe 500, but with just one brush. <laughs> okay, so I am pretty happy with that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to rename this guy first very quickly. Okay, now I'm going to create a second identical layer. So Alt, New Layer, um, Soft Light, Fill with 50% Gray, click OK. And maybe I'll just rename it as well. Um, shadows um, and now I'm going to grab the dark brush and just go ever so slightly over the area that seems a bit too bright I don't really kill the highlights that much I don't really like doing that it's just in the situation of maybe like those little lines here where it's a tiny bit bright but I'm not really worried about it as much as I would um, I will be using it mostly for um, just like highlights and shadows. So as you can see here, it's quite a drastic difference. I am not really sure if I want to ki kill that much of the shadows or of the highlights. So I might actually lower it down a tiny bit, just still to get a tiny bit of glow. Um, now that I have this little element finished, I am going to move on to highlighting and shadowing. So if there is any um, kind of light kind of elements that I want to pick up, I'm going to go into my highlights element and I'm going to make the brush a bit bigger. Like here, if I want to accentuate the cheekbone glow, if I want to accentuate the little light here, I just go very loosely. I can go even onto flow maybe three or something just to kind of go there if you don't trust yourself with dodging and burning um, i would almost create highlights shadows dodging and burning if you want to um, you know four layers there's no rules for that you can create as many layers as you want 
whatever kind of works for you i'm going to pick up those highlights a tiny bit and just brighten them ever so slightly i'm going to go a tiny bit over the eye I'm going to like make it a bit brighter just in the middle here so as you see the kind of um, connection between the black and the outer layer of the eye I'm just kind of going here a tiny bit okay. and now with the shadows I am going to go over any areas that I feel need a bit more darkness so maybe I'll just grab my brush here maybe go on the side of the nose just to kind of fake contour it a tiny bit and almost kind of here I have to be very subtle with the with the um, shadows so I don't want to overdo it in any way so what I might also do is I might go over the socket of the eye maybe lower lash line upper lash line so just whatever gives me a tiny bit more depth into the image perfect as I said the um, shadows are always way more subtle for me anyway, I don't personally like to overdo it when it comes to shadows. Um, I just feel like it's a bit too much or it can get a bit too much very quickly. There we go. And there we go. So you can have a little look here. As you see, it's very slight. It's nothing too drastic. There we go. Okay, and now I am going to move on to fix the rest um, of the face, just, or not the face, sorry. I'm going to move on to fix the neck a tiny bit, to fix the lips, and I'm going to be back with you in a second. Okay, so here is the final before and after. So as you see, just using um, dodging and burning and just a tiny little bit of color correction, it makes an absolutely huge difference to the image. It smooths out the skin majorly without affecting any freckles or any kind of you know, skin texture that she has. It's still very evident, but it's just, um, you know, you're getting rid of all the shadows and all the little unevenness in the skin and so on and I think it's just a very very nice relatively painless technique to go about skin retouching hey guys so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time